We're known for being a tourist hotspot and, of course, the nation's oldest city. But some of our most famous sites are also home to unspeakable tragedies. Here at Huguenot Cemetery, a mass grave is the final resting place for those that lost their lives in the yellow fever epidemic of 1821. And while this is a part of history, the danger mosquitoes pose is very much a part of the present. Malaria is still the number one, number one leading killer in the world. I mean, it infects three to 500 million people per year. That's essentially the population of the United States. Malaria, dengue fever, St. Louis encephalitis, Eastern equine encephalitis, and West Nile virus are just some of the diseases Anastasia Mosquito Control District works tirelessly to prevent. We've eradicated malaria and yellow fever currently from St. Johns County. However, we still have those mosquito species that are capable of transmitting the pathogen. Biologist Whitney Qualls says because of AMCD's work, there's only been one West Nile case in St. Johns County back in 2003. And we're winning the fight against other mosquito-borne illnesses as well. We haven't had any human cases of eastern equine encephalitis virus. However, we do have a number of horse cases each year. Since 1948, AMCD has been working to keep residents safe and healthy and is now responsible for 631 square miles of salt and freshwater mosquito habitat. All AMCD employees hold a public health pesticide license under the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Our mission is simple, to protect the residents from nuisance mosquitoes and their related diseases, to reduce mosquito population through environmentally friendly, cost-effective methods, to minimize impacts on other living things, to spend public funds prudently, and to become the leading mosquito control district in the state of Florida. To make that happen, AMCD focuses on the aquatic and the terrestrial stages of the insect's life. That means fighting the insects on both water and land. Larval control starts in the water. Inspectors see if they need to treat by monitoring aquatic habitats to see if larvae are present. If larvae are found, inspectors treat the water, either by using some type of biological control, such as BTI, bacteria which infect and kill mosquito larvae, or by using mosquito fish in places like ditches and ponds. Once larvae hatch into adult mosquitoes, we monitor the mosquito populations. If more than three adults land in one minute, we spray that area. AMCD also uses light traps, and if more than 25 mosquitoes are found looking for a blood meal, it uses EPA-registered insecticides. But you might not even know AMCD stopped by, because whenever treatment is needed, it's done in the morning or late evening. And thanks to new technology, it takes less insecticide, and the treatments are quieter than ever before. We can even fight mosquitoes by air. We have a contract aerial service for control of mosquitoes during heavy flooding or emergency situations. And we focus on educating the public. We do presentations for homeowners associations. We do presentations for civic associations, rotary clubs. Basically anybody who wants us to come and talk, we go and we try to educate them on mosquito control. And when a resident has a problem, our team will come out and take care of it, providing individualized customer service. But the best thing you can do is to keep you and your family safe by taking an active role. Take a walk around your home and look for any containers or any sources, even certain flowers, that could be collecting water. Because standing water is a breeding ground for mosquitoes. And it doesn't take much. Even a half inch will be enough for the mosquitoes to breed. If you find containers that are difficult to drain, we'll work with you and treat them with environmentally safe larvicides. We also focus on research. AMCD tests the effectiveness of the insecticides we use to ensure mosquito kill and low environmental effects. We do many projects that also provide information to the public, such as protection times and possible alternatives to the repellent DEET. Our goal is to keep St. Johns County safe for our residents and visitors. And the easiest way to keep safe is to always remember the five D's of prevention.